Good morning. So the reading from the book of Genesis is one that we've heard time and time again. I think it's the one that's always stuck in our minds. But there's a lot going on here, a lot that's underneath the surface. First off, it is Adam and Eve together. They were right next to each other the whole entire time. So it's, we'll see later on in the readings that Adam tries to blame Eve for everything, but he was right there at any point and could have stopped her. And then we have to look at the serpent and how the serpent still even talks to us today. So what is the serpent saying? First off, he lies and he starts to turn everything around to Eve to begin with, saying, did God say that you can't eat from any of the trees in the garden? And of course, they were allowed to eat from everything except from the tree of knowledge. They were allowed to even eat from the tree of life that would keep them alive forever and ever. But what the serpent does then is says, well, the only reason that God tells you you can't eat from this tree, this tree of knowledge, is because you will become just like him. And what are we always trying to do? At least for myself that I can speak, that I'm always trying to be that new God, the most powerful person, always in competition with everyone around me, including the Lord, that I think I know better at all times than him. And that is the sin that the serpent is always trying to tell us that we can be better than God and God is lying to us, which we know is not true. But the beauty of all these readings together is that it goes right with the idea of Jesus comes and he opens our ears so we can actually hear God's voice, each one of us individually, to know that we can truly trust in him And as cunning as that serpent still is to this day, that he tells us lies after lies after lies to have him, have us follow him, we have Jesus to combat him. I'm not sure if the Flintstones are still popular, but what I always think about when I think of this reading is Fred Flintstone with the angel and the devil on his shoulders, or the little guy Gizmo on his shoulder, the, I guess the guy from Mars that's always talking to him and trying to talk him into bad things but they always sound so good to start off with. Come on, do this. And, but with the Lord present in our lives, we can actually hear him because he opens our ears and he allows us to talk to him freely, that he opens our mouth, that we can listen and go back to God and we can truly understand that we should trust in Jesus at all times. And he gives us that grace through his life to be able to come back to him. And we strengthen this grace because we do eat now of the tree of life when we can receive communion, which we will do today.